At this point in time, Hillary Clinton seems to be leading Donald Trump by 200,000 votes nationwide. This would be, if that's the case, this would be the sixth time in United States history where the person who lost the popular vote won the election. And so all the, all the media is filled with how Trump won. I couldn't even find the popular vote count on the front page of the New York Times. Uh, you know, they're all talking about the Electoral College. Nobody's talking about the fact that apparently Hillary Clinton won the election. And, and th this has got to stop. This is, this, isn't, this is what happened in 2000. It happened, you know, four times in the 1800s. And th th this is uh, the death of a democracy here. Yeah, now we're the only system that calls itself a democracy where the loser wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, again, remember that uh, Al Gore won by more than half a million votes. So Bush got to be president because of four unelected judges voting, uh, you know, well, five to four by one vote uh, in a state uh, where he was uh, winning by 537 votes. And if they had actually counted all the votes, he would have lost that state. So again, and, and as Harvey has written and we've written, that this really is, its entire roots of these electors is based in uh, the racist uh, slave society, and that's why it was developed. Yes, it's a, it's a, the Electoral College is a holdover from slavery. It was designed to um, give the slave owners of the South an additional boost in the electoral system. And yeah, it's worked to perfection. It's 230 years ago, almost exactly, that this was done in the Constitution Convention in Philadelphia. And they put this in there because the Southerners threatened to leave the Union. And, and, and so, and of course, slavery was abolished in the Civil War. But now we have an election where we're going to have a completely unqualified guy walking into the White House who um, uh, wouldn't have won anyway, even in the Electoral College, without the massive stripping of black and Hispanic voters and without tremendous irregularities all over the country, which no one was talking about. And on top of that, even after all that, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. Um, you know, this is not exactly a democracy here. And uh, Jimmy Carter told uh, the Spiegel that uh, the United States has a dysfunctional uh, democracy. And the other thing that, again, we've emphasized over and over again, it's not transparent. On uh, Friday, I filed a lawsuit uh, about the machines uh, saying that they need to turn on their security features, their audit log, their uh, image uh, scanning uh, of the ballots. Uh, and here in Ohio, 43 counties use those types of voting machines, these Scantron machines. Uh, and, they, uh, and when I sued on Monday, the judge said the Secretary of State had a right to disable the machines so there's no security features. And that's really uh, bizarre by any democratic standard. It's already strange that you would allow private, for-profit, partisan corporations to secretly program the computers uh, under the guise of its proprietary business software. You know, it should be open source, or there should be it should be on paper. Uh, but uh, that's the reality. So the loser wins, and no one gets to see. Uh, how these machines actually work. And there's also uh, exit poll problems, uh, you know, coming up. That'll be the next thing. Uh, it was clear that the exit poll showed Hillary Clinton winning, and then Trump wins in all these uh, battleground states. It all goes in one direction. Uh, that is not statistically likely. You know, Hillary Cl Cl Clinton's supposed to be beating Trump by 2% in women voters in North Carolina, and the final vote says she lost by... Uh, the official vote she lost by about three percent so that's a huge swing of five percent of the vote in a battleground state and also one that uh, you know isn't very uh, uh, you know likely so uh, the women apparently in North Carolina uh, are pro uh, you know want their genitalia grabbed it it <laughs> makes no sense so what can be done about that I mean, well you know the entire American electoral system needs to be revised from the bottom up uh, we have a situation where million, literally millions of black and Hispanic people have been stripped from the voter rolls. We have a completely unreliable method of uh, casting our, and counting our ballots. And then even when somebody wins, they are deprived of a victory in the Electoral College. 
So yeah, now the, the entire system needs to be overhauled. Major study done by Harvard and the University of Australia said here are the 47 long-standing democracy. The United States was dead last at 47. But, you know, most of the people, and I would suspect because it's related to education, uh, which would mean more Trump supporters, believe we have the greatest democracy in the world, or at least used to, and he's going to restore it. <laughs> but it's institutionally, uh, you know, it's the oldest constitution in the world, uh, and it was not designed in any way to be democratic.